I didn't see any of them get off the beach. Mizo should be in the cemetery. to steal some food for us? Is this everyone? Just the men who can fight worth the dam. The rest are too hungry or sick. Let's hope we're enough to raid the fort. There's a better chance of seeing cherry blossoms in winter than getting that food. There's always a way. Preferably one that doesn't kill half my men. Lot of men inside, and a signal at the top of the tower. If they call reinforcements from the bay, we'll be trapped. They'll cut us to pieces. Find a place to watch for me. Once I destroy their signal, attack. They'll kill you. If they do, avenge me, and take their food. That's not funny. Watch the tower for my signal. If you say so.
Need to signal the others. They'll see me light the brazier. It's time, Yuzo. Let's get your men something to eat. Where's all the food? I didn't see any in the tower. Did you find anything? Just a stack of Mongol papers on a dead officer. Let me see. You read Mongolian? If it's in Chinese, I can make out some of it. Since when? Since I had to read Sun Tzu. This was only a temporary depot. They're taking everything. Offshore. The boats are in the bay. We'll never get out to them. You got in here. You're crazy. What did you have in mind? Let's see what we're up against. have small boats on the beach. We could steal one, but we'd have to cut through their army. Too many barriers and archers. A frontal attack would be suicide. I want my men far away from the enemy's line. Flaming arrow might set off those explosives. That will get their attention. But we need them to look away from the beach. Put your archers on that cliff. The Mongols will focus on them while we steal the boat. All right, men. They don't know we took the fort, so they'll be waiting for reinforcements that aren't coming. Keep them busy long enough for us to steal a boat. Then retreat into the forest. Look for my torch. That's your signal to attack. Let's find a way down to the beach. You heard, Yuzo. Let's move. We won't let you down. Watching you fight back there reminded me of Lord Nagao's tournaments. 
You did whatever it took to win. It was a competition. You fought just as hard. Did I? What are you getting at? Nothing. Just remembering our duel. We'll talk about this later. If we survive. Your men should be in position. Light the torch. Now. I knew they'd come through. Look at that fire! We need to move quickly. Take an oar. Can't believe no one tried to sink us. Your men distracted the ship's crew, too. I never knew our duel bothered you so much. Now you do. <sighs> no luck. You should have told me earlier. Life took us in different directions. Anyway, it was a long time ago. No food here. Any sign of food? Not here. Maybe on the next ship. Hear that? Sounds like four or five guys. No way around. Surprise them. Greetings! Nice ship. We have to move fast. Archers on the next ship. Watch your bow. And you? I gave it to my men.
More Mongols. Take them. isn't here. It has to be on the other ship. You search here. I'll take the other. Be careful. Battle plans. Better go find your Yuzo. No sign of any food. There has to be something. They've stolen from us. You saw.
to me. I would have had that Mongo if you hadn't shown up. I know. Did you see how big he was? That's where all our food went. <laughs> We're burning our food. Miso, we have to go. Can you swim? I have to. The fire's spreading. Jump! Let's get out of sight. They're still hunting us. That's a good hiding spot ahead. I promised my men I'd feed them, and I'm going back empty-handed. We'll find another way. But how many will I lose before then? I found something that might help. Mongol battle plans. Do they show supply lines? One page has a map. It's a start. Hand it over. We do this together. You've got your own problems, and I am the leader. I need this, Jin. And I'll need you at Castle Canada. You'll have me. Don't let them see you coming. Just like you. I need to find more allies. That's my kage. Drop of sake. <laughs> now I find out the merchant is selling cardinals to the Mongols. That's the hope he's only doing it because he has no choice. Does your bow need work, my lord? Your arrows will strike like deadly falcons. Farewell. Samurai who's going around killing me. I can help improve your blades, my lord. Permit me to refine your armor, my lord. Nothing stronger. My lord, I hear samurai are skilled in the art of haiku. I wouldn't call myself skilled, but yes, I write them. There's a poet in Hyoshi Springs. Said he once wrote with your uncle. I'm sure he has much to share. I'll be sure to check on him. I work metals, woods, and cloth. Oh, 
Only the best for you. I'm sorry. I need more for that. Here. where the others are. I told you, I'm traveling alone. If you want to live, you'll stop lying. There's no one else. What? <laughs> to be him.
Centuries ago, the warrior, Tadayo, saved Azamo Bay from pirates. My lord, please join me. Sounds like you have an interesting tale to tell, but I'm surprised to find you in Azamo. We both go where we're needed, Lord Sakai. My story is for your ears as well. Centuries ago, Tadayori Nagao was the greatest archer on our island, famed for his wisdom and perfect aim. The Kami Hachiman himself was so impressed, he gave the archer his armor, light and strong beyond compare. In those days, cruel pirates raided the coast. They threatened the town of Azamo Bay with annihilation. The people fled to safety, but Tadayori faced the pirates alone, wearing his mythic armor. The pirates stormed the town. Tadayori's arrows tore through them. Few survived, but not one blow pierced Tadayori's armor. Years later, Tadayori died peacefully at home, but his armor mysteriously vanished. Some say his descendants guard it still, awaiting the rise of a warrior to defend Tsushima once more. The little writing about Tadayori that survives refers to a violet crown, a place in the north of Azamo, strewn with violet chrysanthemums, where Tadayori would often meditate. Driving the Mongols from our home is all I care about. This armor could help, if it's as good as you say. His armor is without equal, my lord, and I believe it is still out there. Find the Violet Crown. me? Yeah. <laughs> 
Here and fight. I'll never forget the day he was killed. 
I could have saved my father. If only I was older, stronger. If I wasn't so afraid. Quickly, come here. Can't sleep. Not since I heard about those masked men hiding in the bamboo forests of Hyoshi. There's plenty to fear without worrying about folktales. Hmm. It's no folktale, my lord. They call themselves protectors of the great Uchitsune's longbow. Try to rest. I'll find out who these masked men really are. The musician in Hyoshi Springs can tell you more. But be careful, my lord. Some believe Uchitsune's curse lives on. Violet Chrysanthemums. The musician who told me the legend of Tadoyuki mentioned it could lead to the Violet Crown. <laughs> Burned recently. Something inside that container. A map to Tadayuri's rest.
more violent chrysanthemums. Coyote's rest coming close. Sure to climb. There must be another way in. Quickly, <laughs> the one from the Violet Crown. Tadayuri's rest. Whose graves are these? The emblem of Clan Nagao, Tadayuri's clan. Time's rushing river slows, Tadayuri's mind at rest. One drawn bow pierces many. Same incense from the Violet Crown, lit recently. What are you doing here? Leave this place. I'm not here to fight. I am Jin Sakai. Nephew of Lord Shimura. You're a liar and a thief. Defend yourself. I don't want to kill you. Stop! How dare you trespass on Tadayori's sacred ground! You dishonor Tadayori's legacy, thief! should be fighting Mongols, not each other. You're nothing but a dirty scavenger! It's not possible! You know how to use that stolen blade. Hold, my lord. My name is Kaede. Last of Tadayori's line. 
I heard the samurai were all killed. Assumed you were a scavenger. I'm no thief. But I seek your ancestor's armor. And you deserve to wear it, Lord Sakai. But the armor is lost. And you have no way to find it. There is a line from an old scroll. Tadayori watches over Azamo Bay for eternity. I suspect it's a clue to where he hid the armor. Tadayori's armor gave him great speed and deadly aim. Wear it in defense of the innocent as he once defended Azamo Bay. Watching over Azamo Bay could mean the cliffs behind town.